A fire that tore through a national park northwest of Sydney yesterday has added to that list of houses destroyed. And for the family who lost their home of 30 years, it was a heartbreaking blow. They also lost their mother to illness just three weeks ago. Mark Reddy reports from Collo Heights. Three weeks ago, Bill Morris lost the love of his life to cancer. His six children were left without their mother and now without the family home. It's literally the only memories we had left of her were in that house. We hadn't had a chance to go back through there and take in her, like, you know, her little trinkets and the things that were special towards her. It's just all gone. The bushfire destroyed the remote property in Upper Colo, among the few things still standing, a melted water tank. Photographs of the couple lie beneath the rubble. And for him to, this is just like a real kick in the guts while you're down. Like he's, he's devastated as we all are. <laughs> Kim and Sandy Nattersdy managed to save their dog kennel during the emergency and the 30 animals in their care. Half of these guys we've had since they were puppies, so um, they either stay with us or at home at the, with their owners. So. so it wasn't an option to leave them? Never, no, wouldn't do that. At one stage, the flames came dangerously close to their property. Those pet owners must be pretty grateful that you really alive on the line. <laughs> I hope so. I think they are, yeah. More than 50 firefighters took advantage of easing conditions today, but the fire still burns out of control. There are now fears of a repeat of the 1994 bushfire emergency in which a blaze similar to this one spread all the way to the central coast. So fire crews are desperately trying to strengthen containment lines with conditions expected to worsen next week. Well, the other day we lost a house up here, conditions changed, it's all up to the wind. The wind's very erratic so it's very unpredictable so yes it is dangerous. The Colo community is rallying to raise money for Bill Morris to rebuild. But for now, the threat they face remains. Mark Reddy, ABC News, Colo Heights.